Okay, so we're going to try the DTF film hack using regular inkjet printer, not sublimation ink. We're going to use the regular inkjet printer. We're going to use Yamation DTF film. Okay, guys, so it printed out perfectly. As you can see, there are no um, smudges or wheel lines there. It printed out perfectly. So let's go in there and put the powder on it. Okay, so I have this box here I got at Michael's and I'm just gonna put the paper in there. And then I have the DTF powder in a mason jar. Right, so you're just gonna make sure you coat the whole thing. And you can all, you put this stuff back in your jar, so. This stuff could last forever um, because of that. Just make sure you coat your whole design. And it kind of looks like candied sugar. Once you get it on there, I'm gonna just put it back in the jar. All right. Put the top back on so I don't spill it. And you can see that it's totally coated. It kind of looks like candied sugar on there. Once you put the powder on, you need to cure it under heat prior to pressing. We've got it pressed. It is a cool peel, so you don't want to peel it while it's hot. I'm going to move my pressing pillow away because that holds a lot of heat in. I'm going to turn off my heat press because I'm not plan to do another anything this evening. Isn't that cute? Love it, love it. So you could take... Um, a tile. You could buy you a dry erase marker eraser at the Dollar Tree and use that. Um, you can use a coffee mug to go over it just to cool, you know, if you want to cool it down quickly. Or you can just let it sit until it's cooled off. Either way works. Um, and then we'll peel it when okay, it's cool. So mine is cooled off. It has cooled off. And we're going to go ahead and peel it and see what we've got. Remember, this is not sublimation inks that I'm using. This is regular inkjet ink. All right. And my inkjet burner. So we're going to go ahead and pull it off. Okay, there's nothing left on now. And then what we're going to do, you can see it right there. Very cute. We're going to put it back down. You don't want to put butcher paper on it because butcher paper is going to stick to your design. Right now it's like a really rubbery, plasticky feeling to it. I'm going to take my parchment paper. I'm going to put it over it, put it, push it in, and I'm going to press it for a few seconds to get that rubbery feeling away. And it will also put the ink into the fibers of the shirt. You don't need to do it, for, but for a few seconds. Let me see. Oh yeah, it looks so cute. Let me show you guys. Isn't that adorable? Cute. My first Easter. Look at that. Adorable. I love it. So cute. All right, you guys, we're done. It looks really cute. Look at that. Love it.